A stroll around the Waco City landfill brings back a lot of memories. Here are the sweet rolls you threw out when you started dieting, your straw cowboy hat that somehow went out of style, and the flowers that didn't quite make up for a missed anniversary. It's all here getting compacted, covered up, and completely forgotten. That is, until Steve Cromines comes to town. Well, this is uh, where the trash actually comes in. This is where it all starts. Uh, the biodegradables are what we're really looking for here. As they biodegrade, uh, they produce methane, and as they produce the methane, we actually vacuum it off and take it to our plant. Steve Cromine's job is to create something useful from all this rubbish, and that's no trivial pursuit. His company, Chromico, specializes in recovering commercial quality methane from decomposing mountains of trash. It's a dirty job, all right, but when landfills give Steve lemons, he makes lemonade. Uh, these are the wells that draw the methane out of the landfill. We're actually on top of trash now. We drill a hole some, uh, oh, in this area, around 80 feet deep into the trash, and then we start pulling a vacuum on these wells, which, uh, lets the methane go down through the lines and over to the plant. This is a Siemens gas analyzer. It's actually taking periodic samples every few seconds of the gas and the oxygen within the gas. Chromico's facility is a wonder for its ingenuity and simplicity. Here, the landfill's methane can be compressed and sold as a natural gas substitute or converted into electricity. The fact that Steve and his team built this plant by hand is a testament to his engineering mind and his knack for recycling. This is the generating portion of the landfill gas plant. And all of this equipment was taken off Vietnam vintage Navy ships. Uh, these ships were about to be scrapped down in the Port of Brownsville, or they were being scrapped in the Port of Brownsville. Brought it up here, reconfigured everything to where it would take landfill gas, and now we use the steam to turn turbines and make electricity. Yeah, how's it look, Zorn? It's looking pretty good. Usually it's not as good as today, but uh, today is in good shape. It looks like 55% methane and barely any oxygen at all, yeah. so that's yeah. pretty good. With the help of millions of Mother Nature's hungry microbes and some old war relics, Steve Cromines created an award-winning marvel of green energy production. But where does Waco's trash gas go from here? Well, truth is, all of the landfill's methane is pumped directly to Mars. Mars snack foods, that is the factory responsible for producing your Snickers bars. It's great having a great customer like uh, Mars Snack Foods. Uh, they've been uh, wonderful. They actually did the retrofit on their own boiler and, and it works fantastic. Well, mankind has yet to discover a solution for excessive waste buildup, but we're trying. Waco's partnership with Steve Cromines will be a redeeming quality of this landfill for decades. In the meantime, we can all do our part to recycle, reduce, and appreciate that sometimes what you throw out comes back to you in the form of an environmentally friendly Snickers bar. Well, it is uh, environmentally friendly. As you said, we make use of the gas, so uh, uh, we offset uh, a lot of uh, uh, the use of natural gas, uh, but it also takes the methane out of the environment. If we weren't uh, actually uh, taking this gas as it's being made, uh, it would actually uh, escape through the cap here and go into the atmosphere. And a lot of people feel like uh, this is one of the main problems uh, and uh, global warming. 
Well, we definitely want to get rid of it some way, and, and the best way is to burn it.